I'm a landlord myself, and once again, I'm just so sick of landlords not doing the right thing, and I really don't know how they get away with it. I really don't. It's just... <laughs> I mean, well, I, I, well, I do. I, 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 I do. I, the tenants live in fear. They're frightened of complaining in case they get turfed out. Tony in Southend can tell you a lot of people are too frightened to report things because it could upset the landlord and they get evicted. So that is really how they get away with it. Well, I think I think in Scotland we've got the no um, fault eviction, so I think Scotland's slightly different. Well, in Redbridge they had special licences introduced that all landlords had to have. It was introduced by the leader of the council, a bloke called Jazz Athwell, who's now an MP, and been found not to have the licences that were part of his. Does it? What, what about the politics of it? Does it? Do I sound a little bit undergraduate when I say huh. I'd expect it from a Tory, but I don't expect it from Labour? Um, yeah, I think. I mean, I would expect better from a labour uh, a labour MP myself. To be and honest, do you do, do you employ an agent to look after your yes, properties? Yes, I, I do. I do, I do so employ agents. If yes. if if the agent was behaving badly, if the agent was taking their percentage on your properties every month and either not dealing with or perhaps even ignoring the complaints of the tenants, how? I mean, genuine question this, actually. I may even force you into percentages and numbers. How much of that would be your responsibility? Because you've deployed... You've it's, you... it's, it, well, in Scotland, in Scotland, it's a 100% the landlord's responsibility. Then why employ if, an agent, then? Oh, well, because I don't want a phone call at what, one o'clock in the morning saying my washing machine's leaking. No. <laughs> That's the agent. But, but, but you agent pay the agent. That. You pay so it's not you pay the agent to take the phone call saying the washing machine's leaking. And if the agent takes your money and ignores your tenant, I think I could construct an argument to say that that's not your fault. It's interesting to hear a landlord answering some of these questions. A, a, a tenant could could you honestly argue? I think you could. It's the agents. This is what the MP's trying to do. Uh, oddly, Gillian's contribution has made me wonder whether the MP does have a leg to stand on. I pay an agent to do this. And they haven't done it. It's, I mean, in, in what other circumstances do you pay somebody to do something and when they don't do it, it's your fault?